Heather Donsky is back with five surefire ways to help us get it. So first of all, how do we know if we're sleep deprived and what are we reaching for instead? Well, when we're sleep deprived, we're looking for things like stimulants, like caffeine and sugar, to give us energy. Yeah. But that only makes things worse because they tax our adrenal glands. So if you're waking up at three o'clock in the morning, not because you have to go to work, <laughs> but because you're just your sleep is being interrupted, it could be because your adrenal glands are fatigued. Okay, so get ready to get a better sleep. We begin That's with. Right. All right, so chamomile tea, it's notorious for helping us relax and to promote sleep. That's because it increases glycine in our body that helps to calm us and relax us. So all you can do is, or what you need to do is have a glass of chamomile tea about an hour or two before bed. You can have it after dinner and that'll just help to relax and promote a better sleep. I was going to say, not too big a glass before bed because you're going to pee gonna all, night. all night. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Right. So another thing you could do is have a snack that's rich in carbohydrates. That's because it triggers our body to release insulin. And insulin clears the way for tryptophan that helps to relax us. Which we hear about with turkey. That's right, which we're gonna talk about next. So a good snack that you could do is you can have cereal, you can have toast or oatmeal. I like oatmeal because it has fiber, it balances our blood sugar, and it has some protein. Interesting, because I do that. I always eat a carb right before I go to bed. I need it to well, satiate me. And it helps to relax helps you. To, yeah. yeah. And Nature's Path has a whole line of organic oatmeal. Okay. All right, so now you talked about tryptophan. We talk about turkey. There are foods that contain tryptophan, like walnuts and turkey. Tryptophan helps to make serotonin in our body. And serotonin is a feel-good neurotransmitter. Okay. It also helps to make melatonin, which is a calming hormone. And there are certain foods that contain naturally occurring melatonin, like goji berries. I put those in my in my morning breakfast. Is so, that making me sleepy? <laughs> well, no, it's act, they're actually really good for okay. you. But if you do need a little bit of extra help to go to sleep, you can use a relaxation booster, like this one from Well Told Health. Okay. It has lemon balm as well that helps to promote sleep. So you could take it about an hour or two before bed and that'll just give you, it'll kind of take it down a notch and give you a better night's sleep. So are you eating these foods before bed or throughout the day? I would eat it before bed. Okay. Yeah, as a good snack. Um, not selling me on this one, Andrea. <laughs> lettuce, <laughs> lettuce tea. All right, so if you don't have any chamomile tea at home, but you have a lot of lettuce in your fridge because you like salad, you can actually make lettuce tea. So what's great about lettuce is that it has a chemical called lacticarium. That's okay. the milky white chemical, the milky, milky white fluid that you see in the lettuce. Yeah. It's actually known as lettuce opium. It helps to relax us. It has a mild sedative property. So what you could do is you could take four lettuce leaves, romaine, put them into water for about 15 minutes, make your tea, add some honey. Like a low boil? A low boil or a high boil, doesn't really matter. For about 15 minutes, add some honey, and you've got a nice relaxing tea that will help you sleep better. Can I not just eat the lettuce instead? You Is could. That not you as could good? eat a salad too. You can, but a lot of people like to have something sweet before bed or a little bit of like, a nice salad. Mm. Do not like. I like it. I it's love the taste. It's interesting, Andrea. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stick to the goji berries <laughs> and the wall. It reminds me of like, you know, cabbage when cabbage is cooking. My husband tasted it last night. He goes, It tastes like lettuce. It tastes like lettuce. It tastes but like water lettuce. down with honey. The water down okay, with honey. Okay, and over exactly. here. All right, so about 70% of us are deficient in magnesium. And magnesium helps to just turn off that switch yeah. at the end of the day. It helps to relax our muscles. So you can eat a snack that has magnesium in it, like bananas or cashews. Cashews, a quarter cup, have 89 milligrams of magnesium. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you can take a handful, put some cashew butter on a banana. Mm. Again, if you want something a little bit stronger, you can use a magnesium supplement like Natural Calm. This is all great. And it's stuff you can find in your cupboards. It's a natural way to get or your some fridge, shut eye. The lettuce. Or the lettuce, everybody. <laughs> try it. Gonna, I'm curious to see if people are going to try that. It is interesting. Let us know. We'd love to know. I'm going to stick with the cashews. Uh, thank you. I'm naturally savvy at Andrea Donsky. For more information, everybody, breakfasttelevision.ca. More BT right after this.